Good morning everyone. Today let's continue with the exercise of the chapter the four seasons. First let's do the spelling. For this you can open your textbook and turn to page number 70. So let's see what it is. So in your text it's given. So you can see this. Look at these words. Rain plus Y becomes rainy. So you can see we got a new word by adding Y to the word rain. Snow plus Y becomes snowy. So you get a new word snowy. Wind plus Y is windy and rock plus Y is rocky. So we add Y to some words to make new words. But for some words which end with the letter E, we have to add the letter Y to make a new word. For example, you can see the word shine plus Y. So what is the last letter of the word shine? You can see it is S H I N E. So to form a new word, you have to remove the letter E and add Y to the word. So it becomes shiny and it becomes S H I N Y. And look at the word taste. It ends with the letter E and we have to add Y by removing the letter E and it becomes tasty. So now let's do some exercises in your text page number 71. So let's look at what it is. Add Y to these words. So there are some words we have to add Y to these words. So look at the words first. It's cloud, bump, mess, noise, dirt, wax, smell and last word rock. So we have to add Y to these words. So you can pause the video, add Y to these words and come back once you have done it. Hope you have done. Now let's check the answers. So the word cloud becomes cloudy by adding the letter Y. We get the word bumpy by adding the letter Y to the word bump. And the next one it's messy, M-E-S-S-Y. Fourth one it's noisy. You can see here for the word noise, the last letter is E and we omit the letter E and write Y instead of that and it becomes noisy. Now the fifth word dirt becomes dirty. Sixth word wax is waxy. Seventh is smelly and the eighth one is rocky. Now let's move on to our next exercises. It is adverbs. So let us learn what are adverbs. An adverb is a word that describes an action word. So what is an action word? We have learned already an action word. Verbs are action words. The actions that we do like eat, drink, walk, run. These are action words. So an adverb is a word that describes more about this action words. So here you can see the sentence. I ate my dinner quickly. So which is the verb there? Which is the action word? The action word is ate, that is I ate my dinner quickly and look at the word quickly. The quickly word is describing the word ate. So the word quickly is the adverb in this sentence. So here I ate my dinner quickly, quickly describes the action word ate. So you can see in the sentence I ate my dinner quickly, the word quickly is describing the action word ate. So we can say the word quickly is the adverb in this sentence. Let's look at another example. Here you can see the sentence, my father came home early. So which is the verb there? The verb is came. So it said my father came home early. So you can say that the word early is describing the action word came. So it is not describing any of the other words. My father came home. It's not saying about father or home. It's describing about the verb came. So here early describes the action word came. So we can say that the word early is the adverb here. An adverb tells us something more about a verb. We have learned about adjectives in our previous class. So what are adjectives? Adjectives are words that describe nouns and adverbs are words that describe verb. So you should not get confused with these two words, adjective and adverb. So adverb is a word that describes verbs. Adjective is a noun that describes nouns. Now look at this sentence. The children played happily. Which is the noun in this sentence? 
the noun is children and what about played playing is an action word so we can say that the word played is a verb and look at the word happily happily is the adverb in this sentence so happily is describing the word played it's not describing the children so look at the sentence the children played happily how did the children play they played happily so the word happily is the adverb in the sentence now let's look at some more sentences here you can see the sentence arun writes neatly so look at the word neatly it is describing how arun writes so we can say the word neatly is the adverb here now look at the next sentence she sang sweetly so how did she sing she sang sweetly which is the verb there the verb is sang and how did she sing she sang sweetly so we can say the word sweetly is the adverb here now look at the last sentence he ran slowly so which is the verb there ran so the word slowly is describing the action word ran so how did he run he ran slowly so we can say that the word slowly is the adverb here sometimes we have to add ly to a word to get an adverb so we can say the words daily quickly regularly slowly silently loudly sadly badly softly these words we get by adding ly to these words so these are some of the adverbs for a word which ends with the letter y when we add ly we have to omit the word y and instead we have to use i l y so look at the word busily the word is b u s y so when it becomes an adverb you have to omit the letter y and it becomes b u s i l y look at the word happy it ends with the letter y and when it becomes happily we add i to it so it becomes h a p p i l y and look at the word easy it's also ends with the letter y it becomes easily we omit the letter y and instead add the letter i now let's move on to our exercises in our textbook page number 71 so you can see some words here we have to add ly to these words so the words are slow hungry sleepy quick kind easy happy and the last word neat so you have to add ly to these words you can pause the video write the words and come back once you have done it now let's check our answers the first word is slowly so add ly to the word slow second it becomes hungrily hungry ends with the letter y when we add ly to the word we have to omit the letter y and instead add i so it becomes h u n g r i l y third one sleepily it is sleepy so we have to omit the letter y and we add i instead and it becomes sleepily fourth one quickly fifth kindly sixth easily seven happily and the last word neatly now let's move on to our next topic punctuation now let's look at these sentences you can see the sentences it's too cold actually the word is it is too cold now how did we write it we have written is it's too cold so you can see we have written the word it we have inserted an apostrophe and have written the letter s and we read it as it's so we can write the word it is in this form also that is it's it's too cold now look at the next sentence i am the best actually the word i am it is i am and see how it is written i apostrophe m so this is a shortened word for the word i am so today now we are going to learn contractions a contraction is a shortened word made by putting two words together that is when two words are joined and we insert an apostrophe those words are called contractions and we insert when we insert an apostrophe some letters will be missing there and to show that missing letters we insert an apostrophe there so now let's learn more about it so look at the word you are these are two words you are and when we join these words it becomes you are now what has happened is you 
apostrophe r you can see the letter a is missing there so we insert an apostrophe there to show that the letter a is missing there and we read this as ur so the apostrophe shows where one or more letters are has been taken out so here you can see ur it's written u apostrophe r e and the letter a is missing here now let's learn some more words so you can write down these words in your notebook putting the heading contractions so let's see the word it is it's two word and when we join it becomes its see how it is written it apostrophe s and which letter is missing there the letter i is missing in the word its let's look at the next one he is and it's written in the contraction form he is he apostrophe yes she is becomes she apostrophe yes and we read it as she is i am is written as i apostrophe m and we read this as am the words we are are two words and when we join these words it becomes we are and look which letter is missing there we write w e apostrophe r e and the letter a is missing in this word and we read this as we are u r becomes u apostrophe r e they are it is written as they apostrophe r e and we read it as they are now look at the next word i have it's written as i apostrophe v e so you can see here the word have h a v e and when it becomes i have we can see the letters h a are missing and we write it i apostrophe v e so it should be read as i have we have which we can write it as v apostrophe v e and we read it as we have they have is written as they apostrophe v e you have is written as u apostrophe v e here the letters h a are missing here let's look at some more words i will it's written as i apostrophe l l so you can see i will in the word will w i l l w i is missing here so we write it as i apostrophe l l look at the word we will we write it in the contraction form v apostrophe l l he will it's written as he apostrophe l l she will will be written as she apostrophe l l we read it as she will they will is written as they apostrophe l l now let's look at some more words here you can see the word i would and how it's written in the contraction form it's written as i apostrophe d now look at the word would what is the spelling of it w o u l d and when it's written in the contraction we write it as i apostrophe d see how many letters are missing w o u l are missing and we write only i apostrophe d and we read it as i would and the word he would or he had is written as he apostrophe d the word she would or she had will be written as she apostrophe d they would or they had will be written as they apostrophe d let's look at some other words look at the word will not when it's written in the contraction form it changes into won't so here you can notice the word changes completely so will not the contraction form is written as won't that is w o n apostrophe t look at the word does not it, they are two words does not now look which letter is missing here the letter o is missing here and we read it as doesn't look at the word can not it's written as can't c a n apostrophe t and here also you can see the letter o is missing we read it as can't and so what it is cannot is written in the short form can't did not is written as didn't how it is written d i d n apostrophe t so the letter o is missing and how do we read this it's read as didn't look at the word do not they are two words and when we join them it becomes don't and how it is written d o n apostrophe t and here also you can see the letter o is missing 
Now let's do some exercises. You can open your text page number 72. So you can see the exercise here. Circle the correct short forms for the highlighted words. So we learned contractions and here we have to circle the correct contraction word. So look at the first word. It is he will and the options are given. He apostrophe L, he apostrophe LL, H E W apostrophe LL. So which is the correct form? The correct form is H E apostrophe LL and we read it as he will. Likewise, you can complete all of the exercises. This is homework for you to do. So what are the words given there? We are, will not, she is, cannot, they would. So this is homework. Once again, I repeat all the contraction words you can write down in your notebook. Let's move on to our next topic. It is writing. So you can see in your text page number 73. It's a poem given. Now let's see what we have to do. Complete this poem with the correct rhyming words. Use the words given in the box. So we have to complete a poem. A poem is given and some help words are given. And we have to complete this poem using these words. And how should we complete? We have to do it with the rhyming words. Now what are rhyming words? Rhyming words are words that end with the same sound. Right? Now let's look at the poem. It's given in page number 73. So the poem is a day mix up. Let's read that. I was telling my friend all about Earth Day. She heard me wrong and thought I said dash. She said she would rush down to the mall and buy a dollhouse or a dash. I said she shouldn't buy all that stuff. The landfills are full of trash dash. Then she knew that she would make a mistake and said she would make a birthday dash. I cheered about that. I said, hooray. So that's how we are celebrating Earth Dash. Now she is learning about recycling trash. And not only that, but she saved her dash. And look at the words given there. It is doll, cash, cake, birthday, enough and day. So you have to fill these words in the poem. Now look at the sentences. Usually the last words of the two lines may be rhyming words. So here you can see the first sentence. I was telling my friend all about Earth Day. She heard me wrong and thought I said dash. So here it should match with the last word of the first line. Look at the last words of the first sentence. It is Earth Day and we have to match a rhyming word with these words Earth Day. So find out from the help box which words match the words Earth Day. So he can see the word birthday matches the words Earth Day. So we can write here, she heard me wrong and thought I said birthday. Now look at the next sentence. She said she would rush down to the mall and buy a dollhouse or a dash. Now look at the last word of this sentence. It is mall. The rhyming word has to match the word mall. Now look at the word in the help box, which word matches? You can see the word doll, mall, doll. So you can write here and buy a doll house or a doll. Now look at the next sentence. I said she shouldn't buy all that stuff. The landfills are full of trash dash. Now look at the last word here. It is stuff. And which word matches? The word enough is a rhyming word for the word stuff. Then she knew that she would make a mistake and said she would make a birthday dash. Look at the last word here. It is mistake and we have to find out a rhyming word. So the word cake matches mistake. Let's look at the next sentence. I cheered about that. I said hooray. So that's how we are celebrating earth dash. So the rhyming word should match the word hooray and it is earth day. Now she is learning about recycling trash and not only that but she saved her dash. So which word should rhyme? It should rhyme the word trash and look at the word. The word cash is a rhyming word for the word trash. Now you can write down these here. So these are the rhyming words for the poem. Now let's move on to our next topic, my word bank. So what all new words you came across when reading the story you can write here in the space provided. 
with this we finish our chapter the four seasons we'll be meeting in the next class till then thank you